What's up guys, Gun for Newbies back here and we're doing another video today. We're uh, looking at the Staccato P with Ignis ports. Okay, so no magazine, clear, you can see uh, nothing in the barrel there. So, um, you know, we're gonna go through this guy, but before we start the video, I wanted to first start off by, uh, if you like the stuff that you're seeing, remember this is all um, personally funded by me. So if you wanna become a supporter of the channel, um, please do. I have a Patreon link in the description um, that really would help me produce more um, long-term reviews, higher round counts, new stuff to the channel, and also help me um, build my name so that way we can start reviewing other newer, cooler stuff and get stuff sent to us by um, obviously manufacturers of different products as well. So, but uh, in today's video, I just wanted to uh, go through now we're officially uh, 2,500 rounds through this guy with the Ignis ports attached. Um, I was having a little bit of problems with re, re um, siding my RMR and uh, I had it sided perfectly. I mean, it was done really, really well and I just uh, had changed it out for a different, different optic and then I decided to go back to the arm or to the SRO. Sorry, I keep saying RMR. Um, to the SRO because it is actually my favorite personal choice uh, optic just flat out. And I've seen quite a bit, but this one just something about the shape of it really, really is easy to pick up, especially when you're shooting multiple shots. So it's really, really enjoyable. And then also this gun has virtually no recoil at all. So really, really nice. So today I just wanted to go through what I'm seeing. So as you can see, and again, it is clear, but the gun gets very, very dirty. You can actually see it blows back a little bit there onto the lens, the front of the lens on the SRO. Uh, but all in all, it does not uh, affect, as you can see, the dot is very, very crystal clear. In terms of reliability, so now we have went through um, 2,500 rounds. We've had um, SIG uh, hollow points. We've had Blazer hollow points, PMC hollow points. We've had Federal FMJ, Normal FMJ, Fiocchi. Um, we have had... Uh, I don't know if I said Blazer. Um, we've also had some PMC mixed in there. Um, <clears throat> we have had Browning. We've had Browning. I bought, I've never bought Browning. I just bought it just to see if it would be fine. Um, and that all went fine. Um, we pretty much had literally maybe, you know, well over 10 different brands of different ammunition. Um, Hollow Points, FMJ, all sorts of things. I also bought a box of like these uh, Syntec, I think it were Federal Syntec ammo. Those shot actually really, really nice. They were just a little bit more expensive, so I didn't keep buying them. Um, but, you know, and I've shot 115 grain through several of those, 124 grains. I shot, um, you know, a lot of 124 grain. The last probably 500 rounds this gun's went through has been uh, 124 grain. And um, I will say I do personally like 115 grain the most, but nevertheless, I mean, they're pretty comparable. I think there's a slight increase in recoil in 124s as opposed to 115. But uh, all in all, fantastic gun. Reliability has been perfect with both me shooting it um, and actually my wife shot it today for the first time. So that was really nice to be able to see her shoot it. She's never shot an optic before and she did really well today. Um, you know, so it just was awesome. So we're going to have some range footage here, um, here in just a little bit that you guys will be able to go through, see, and, um, you know, kind of go from there and take from it, whatever you can. Uh, these videos are meant to be informational only. It's not to be the world's best top shooter or anything like that. That's the last bit on my mind, but mainly it's just to upgrade. If you have a staccato P and you want to take it to the next level, the Ignis ports from Vulcan Machine Works are definitely uh, a true work of art. All in all, um, it's been perfect. It's been flawless. It does get very dirty. Um, I will tell you that, but again, we have shot a lot. So as you can see around the front there, the optic is completely uh, coated. The front of the optic does, and that's the only uh, <clears throat> blow, or uh, I guess uh, the only downside to having a ported barrel and ported uh, slide is that you're going to get your optic dirty. So if you had like hypothetically an orange front tip or red front tip, you're not going to be able to see that. And um, not that you wouldn't be able to see it completely, but it definitely will get dirty. Um, and then uh, you can also see the the way it's all. It, it does create a little bit more propellant, the kind of build up there. However, it doesn't cause any malfunctions. I have not seen any. So, you know, we're well over, you know, we're right about 
what is that? About 700 rounds for sure through, because I, I want to say I did clean it at 1,800 rounds. Uh, and there's been no malfunctions with me or, like I said, my wife. Slide is still very buttery. The trigger seems to only be getting better. Um, so you see the gun's clear. And then we will incredible so and i think they got this right around three pounds i think i wanted it actually like 1.7 or something and vulcan does not go below either three or two and a half it might be two and a half but i wanted to get it even uh lesser than that just because this is mainly a, a range gun for me so i really really like it and personally you should not be on the trigger unless you're intending to shoot something and always point it in either the direction that you need to shoot or a safe direction uh means that you're at the range hypothetically so uh, all in all, this has definitely been a 10 out of 10. This has been my favorite gun I've definitely ever owned. Um, it's been so far the most reliable as well because it just is operating at 100%, even uh, modified with a lighter trigger. Usually when you get this far into stuff, you start to have a little bit of hiccups. Granted, it was, it's been professionally done um, by a company as reputable as Vulcan Machine Works, so I expect it nonetheless, uh, or nonetheless, but Either way, it's been fantastic. If you are contemplating doing this to your staccato, I would say it probably decreases recoil probably like 20, 25%. So if you like how your staccato piece shoots, it really, really dumbs it down uh, in the recoil aspect. And because of that, you can get some really, really fast follow-up shots. Um, I do wish they would have went lighter on the trigger um, because that would make the gun shoot even quicker and, and better in my opinion. But they have the reasons what they do, yet yeah, everything they do is methodically pretty perfect. So I am very, very happy with this product. I would recommend it to every, anybody um, who is looking to do it. I know a lot of people have done it. Their uh, YouTube page and their Facebook page and their Instagram page, all those pages that they have for social media is just completely, um, you know, covered with everybody who has chose a, a different um, design, a different um, build, grip, all sorts of stuff. They do offer grips and stuff. And I might go down that route as well with this because um, a little bit more weight would make it recoil a little bit softer. But really, I mean, it's ridiculously flat and you'll see that in the range footage. So um, now that we've kind of went through everything, we'll go ahead and skip to the range footage. Now So what are you thinking about? It's a bigger gun than I'm used to. Okay. I like the way it fits in my hand. How do you feel about the optic? I have never really used an optic before. Yeah. But I feel like the optic was definitely straight yeah. on. Um, it helped me with my really shooting. Did really good. She was able to punch a hole. She went a little bit bottom left, which uh, that could just be placement of the optic. Um, so, um, and I don't think 100 percent i have it zeroed but um, all in all really good shooting Hey guys, we're going to do 10 quick, and then I just want to show you the, the recoil. Now this is shooting 124 grain, so this has a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit more uh, recoil as opposed to like 115, but we're going to do it pretty quick. And uh, so just wanted to show you the, the way that the Ignis ports work. It's really, really something, and it's definitely an awesome upgrade. So uh, here we go. Stay tuned for more uh, content on this guy. We are going to do another uh, review once we get to uh, 5,000 reviews. So, you know, just stay tuned to see what this guy has in store. But all in all, a fantastic job done by Vulcan Machine Works. And um, yeah, we're going to keep going and see where um, if we run into any issues, if everything stays the same, and so on and so forth. So thank you.